Hello, this is Michael with Earth Watching. Today is Saturday, 4 14, 2018. I'm just showing you the extremes of the water levels in Lake Erie by where I live. This was approximately eight days ago I took this photo. Water level was down. Uh, I just got this house last year, fixing this so I can put a dock out here. And when I mean low, this is extraordinarily low and next photo shows you what I accomplished on that day you can see I removed all the rabble out and put it all back I'm gonna get all this garbage out of here put a dead man back here come along pull the poles back up straight anchor them back into shore so they can't bend out like that anymore and then I am gonna build a dock that comes out this way follow the cursor and then I'll have another like an L shape piece comes out this way and I can dock my jet skis up against shore here and my boat over here. But this is how extreme the water level was. It was so low I could just climb down there and move everything back up. I didn't have to worry about the water at all. Got all the weight off this pole. The other day the water was pretty low down to about this level here. So I got all this out from behind this pole. I still have a little bit more to go. And I was hoping for the water level to drop. Well, we'll go to the next photo. This is normal water level. This was taken last year in the fall. You can see how everything's here. I'll go to the next photo. This is the old driveway that was here. You can I park my truck here all the time. You can see how much grass is here. You can see that wood dock. Um, the other photos here is that here. Pay attention to where this is at and pay specific attention to this here because this is a great indicator in this bush line. All right, super low water level. There's your, there's that. This is the drive. I have taken an exact mirrored image of this, but with the high water now. Remember, we just saw it eight days ago, low water. This was in the summer. This is was about normal. It'll vary a foot or so up or down. Click to this. That's what the water is just as of a half an hour ago, and it is 11.32 a.m. here in Ohio. So we'll click back so you can see the difference. That was last year, approximately normal water level. This is today. And if you remember correctly, just eight days ago, that was the water level. Like I said, pay attention to that. This is approximately, I'd say, about five feet here to here before you reach this ground level. And there you are so you gotta think about five feet before you can reach this level here where you reach the grass click up there you go that's right there's where that rock line is I was working on there's your dock it's right here it's just barely underwater you could walk across the top of the concrete right now and not even get your feet wet and that's what it is today this morning and like I said pay attention to that box Look at the box here. Water is probably three and a half to four feet in front of my neighbor's dock box. My property line is right about here. Cuts right next to the concrete, comes up. And then you see the railing here. It goes up the shoreline that way. Click here. There's the dock we used all summer. Neighbor was kind enough to let us put our boat there because ours isn't built yet when we moved in. Look at that. You, there's the ramp. There's a big concrete walk path that goes underneath that ramp that you can walk down. And it stops right at the property line here. There's his dock box. And this was all just happened within 24 hours. The water's come up this quick. There's his electric pole. And like I said, everything's just underwater. And there's extremes. But there's my drive. You can see the water's only about two feet. There's a fire pit right here. We can set chairs all the way around it where we, you know, sit out here, drink a couple beers, and just enjoy the summer. And there's your fire pit. Usually chairs around here. This is a railing. There's a walk path here that goes on the other side of this. There's a pole. Concrete goes that way. That wood dock I was telling you to pay attention to, it's right here. It goes out, comes back across, comes back. And there you go, that's where it's just a little high. That's where that wooden dock thing is there. And that's what we have today. And you see all these posts? These are not floating docks out here, these are fixed docks. 
and they're all underwater. Um, down here, there's a sitting area where you can put a little pic, you know, a little table, a couple four chairs, hang out. There's steps that go down here to another sitting area, and this is higher than this area here. This is all concrete down in here where you can walk across, and it's all completely underwater. And just to recap, we're talking from this to the other extreme in the matter of I'd say eight days just yesterday or just 12 hours ago the water level was normal and you can see the extreme this is what it was eight days ago not even this high because you could walk down here onto that wood ramp and everything and this is today see this pole here all that rabble that I moved I showed you it's right here it's back in here so that tells you the waters came up five feet to reach the edge and then it's come up another I'd say eight to ten feet so we're talking approximately 15 feet it's come up in the matter of eight days and it's come up ten feet in the matter of eight out or twelve hours so there you are my friends uh, the extremes for Lake Erie and this is very extreme uh, this very really happens to this amount um, you have yourself a good afternoon just keeping you guys uh, knowledgeable on what's going on over in my area you try to do the same uh, God bless and good afternoon